Hello. In this video, I will be unboxing the Neumann KMS-105. Now I've actually had this microphone for a little over a year now, and I'm using this microphone to record this voiceover. This video is one I've shot a year ago and haven't gotten around to posting it. This is a studio-grade handheld condenser microphone. If you haven't heard of Neumann, chances are you don't work in professional audio. Neumann is well known for making some of the best microphones in the world, such as the U87i, which can be found in nearly every studio out there. If Neumann were a car brand, they'd probably be the likes of a Lamborghini. Neumann are known to be top of the line when it comes to microphones. This is their most affordable microphone, coming in at $700. But don't let that fool you. This is still very much a premium product, handcrafted and made in Germany. This microphone has a super cardioid pickup pattern, 150 decibel SPL, 76 decibel SNR, a 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz frequency response, 50 ohm impedance, a self noise of 18 decibel A weighted, a built in foam free pop filter, low handling noise, and high feedback resistance. The KMS 105 will pick up a dry sound with very little ambience, which is a big advantage in untreated rooms meaning you can use this microphone for home recording. Under applications, this microphone is listed for live show slash on stage, home recording, broadcast film, and voiceovers. The reason I chose this microphone over say the Shure SM7B or ElectroVoice RH20 is for a few reasons. Both of those are dynamic microphones, which don't sound as good as a condenser microphone. Problem is, condenser microphones are more sensitive and will pick up background noise easier. That's not so much the case with the KMS-105. While being a condenser, it's a handheld with a super cardioid pattern, meaning it has good feedback rejection and will greatly attenuate background noises as it's designed for close miking. So I get the quality benefits of a condenser, but with similar benefits of a dynamic. Another reason is both of those microphones are a bit bigger and bulkier for my desk setup. I don't have room for a boom arm, and mounting these microphones to a desktop stand might not be ideal. The KMS-105, being a handheld microphone, is much smaller and easier to work with. I can put it on a smaller desktop stand, and it doesn't take up much space on my desk with limited space. Another reason is I don't like to copy what YouTubers do. I do my own research and homework, and what will work best for me and my application. While the Shure SM7B and ElectroVoice RE20 are great microphones for broadcast, I feel the KMS-105 is a notch above and well suited for similar applications. It being a condenser capsule, it will have the quality edge over such microphones. Now if you're in a very noisy environment, I would recommend going with the SM7B. But I've seen a lot of YouTubers that use the SM7B in a well-treated room where a condenser microphone would work just fine. Both of those microphones are also very hard to drive and require a good preamp with a lot of gain to get good sound. A lot of people will use an inline cloud lifter, which just further adds noise to the signal train. The KMS-105 on the other hand won't be as hard to drive. However, I still highly recommend a solid outboard preamp for it. Now let's get on to the unboxing. As you can see, it comes in a little gray and black cardboard box. It says Neumann Berlin on it. As Neumann is a German company, the box is relatively clean and not many graphics or information on it. On the side, we have our serial number and UPC code, along with it saying Made in Germany. As you can see, there is a microphone pouch inside which will house the microphone and include accessories. The pouch is a nice gray pouch with Velcro straps. You can see there are two flaps, one of the microphone clip and the other houses the microphone itself. The clip also has a European adapter in it which threw me off at first as I was trying to mount the mic clip to my stand. You'll need to take a quarter and unscrew the adapter from the clip.
The microphone is wrapped in plastic to keep it clean. That's it as far as what is in the pouch. The box is also empty, pretty straight to the point. As you can see already, this microphone is looking sexy. Solid aluminum nickel finish. This truly looks and feels like a premium product. Do note that this microphone will require phantom power, being a condenser. Here is a close up to show off the build quality. Very solid and has some weight to it. This microphone is also available in black, but I went with nickel because it looks more professional and studio grade to me. Well, that's it for this video. I'm very satisfied with this mic and you can hear the quality of it as it's what I'm using to record this voiceover. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.